Okay, hello guys. Welcome once again. This is Justa Sabere. So today I'm going to have something powerful for you. Mostly rules for success in life. So begin. I'll do it in a few minutes maybe. And I believe after this audio you'll have understood or noted something or you'll have inspired as well. And you are going to work on yourself. So number one, you should have a vision. Have a vision. A vision is something like maybe a blueprint for your life, right? What do you want to become? What do you want to be? Have somebody that inspires you. What are you working for? Why are you waking up every early in the morning and maybe late nights? So have a vision for yourself. If you want to be successful, have a goal, have a vision, and everything always will become easy. Okay, visualizing on your goal and going after it actually makes this fun. When you have a vision and you usually visualize on it each and every time you are working on it, a goal that you are working on, actually you'll always be doing it with fun. You'll not have a lot of struggle since you are working on something that you want to achieve. You go to have a purpose as well in your life. You don't just live without understanding where will you be in the next two years, in the next one year. Have a purpose in your life as well, right? Yeah. So number two, don't listen to the naysayers. Don't listen to the negative people. Those people who can always are negative on your side, right? Yeah. They always tell you it cannot be done. So on my side, when I hear that it can't be done, just hear positively. It can be done. It is impossible on your side. Just say it is possible. When somebody says no, pick it as a yes. Remember you are working on your vision, on your goal, right? Yeah. So Nelson Mandela said, everything is always impossible until until someone else does it, right? So I'm going to be the one who is going to do it. Tell yourself that way. I'm going to be one the one who is going to do it. And show them. Prove them. Show them the results once you have done it, right? Yeah. As I said again once more, don't listen to the naysayers. You have the potential to do it. You have the potential to win. Nobody was meant to be successful alone, right? It is up to you to go work for that vision that you have so that you're going to be successful, right? Yeah, don't listen to the losers. Losers are always negative people. They are going to change your mind as well and even they might make you not achieve your goals, right? Yeah, I learned this from, I like this mentor, Mr. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah, the bodybuilding is a very inspiration person to me. And then we have the Denzel, Denzel Washington, right? Yeah, so Denzel Washington once said, don't be, a, don't be afraid to go outside the box, right? Yeah, most of us are just closed inside the box. And there is where we make a mistake. Don't be afraid to go outside the box. Don't be afraid to fail. Actually, fail and fail big, right? Yeah, fail and fail big. Learn big as well, right? Yeah, remember, dreams without goals are just dreams, you need to have goals of your life. Maybe lively goals, yearly goals, daily goals, weekly goals. Set goals that will always drive you. Have goals that will always drive you so that you can achieve whatever you want in life as well. Understand that to these goals, you must apply discipline and consistency. Most people have goals, but you are never disciplined. You don't do the whatever your activities you have planned you don't do it consistently in order to achieve you should do this consistently every day you should plan right yeah and if you don't plan you plan to fail so every day you should plan your activities each and every single day so working really hard is what successful people do. I remember when I was in school, we were told work hard, work smart. Those people are successful. Those people are getting good grades. Those people are succeeding. Even we used to see the number ones, those people who used to score high grades, they were really working hard. They were reading books. They are reading novels, all those activities. And that is how it is. It is not going to change. Working really hard is what successful people do. So you're going to get to work. Work very hard. Just because you are doing a lot more doesn't mean you are getting a lot more done, right? Just because you are doing a lot more doesn't mean you are getting a lot more done. 
don't confuse movement with progress. Just continue to progress, right? Yeah, I think you are going to note some few points and you are learning something of which you are going to improve on your side because I understand maybe there is a point that you are going astray and if you go that way, chances are you are not going to achieve your goal. So start working on yourself. Right? I found that nothing in life is worthwhile unless you take risks, right? Yeah. Remember, anybody who is successful, if you want to succeed, you must be a risk taker. Take risks, right? Yeah, this is an opportunity you've got it. You have got an opportunity. Have a look at it. Go take risk. Try it. Do it. Tell yourself you are going to do it. We say there is nothing impossible. If you go to the Bible, there is nowhere it is written impossible. Everything is always possible. So be positive on your side each and every time as you work on your goals. So Nelson, Nelson Mandela once said, there's no passion to be firm playing small and setting and settling for a life that is less than the one you are capable of living. All of us, we have that lifestyle that we want to live on. So there is no passion to be firm playing small. Don't play small. Go out, do it, do it, do it, and prove the world you have done it. Right? Yeah. Every failed experiment is a step closer to success. You have to take risks, right? Yeah. Remember, you have to fail, 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 fail until you succeed. Anybody, if you ask any successful person, they are going to tell you how many times they have failed. They failed a lot of times. A good example, maybe we have our president. Okay, we have Mr. Raylo Dinga. Maybe I can give it out. He's actually 77 years old. He's working on his goal of becoming a president. He have not given up. You are just 20s. You just try a business within three months, four months, you, you quit. You just say, this is not working for me. No, you have just done nothing. 20s, people are working on their dreams up to 70s. They have not given up. So no giving up. Work on your goals and don't quit, right? Yeah. If you don't fail, you are not even trying. Yes, of course. If you, are, you don't fail, you are not even trying. If you are doing it well, you have to fail. Fail and wake up, go ahead, fail again, and wake up, go ahead, work on your dreams, remember you have a vision that you're working on, so if you fail, fail and wake up, prove the world that you're going to do it, to get something that you have never had, you'll do something that you have never done before, yes, and this is what keeps me going, if you want to achieve something that you have never had, you have to do something that you have never done, so go work on yourself, Look on yourself. What have you never done before? Most of us sleep maybe eight hours, six hours in a day. That is not enough, right? Rich people don't sleep eight hours a day. That's a thought of your life or of yourself, right? If you want to be successful, you have to sacrifice some things like sleep. You have to sacrifice money, time, work on your goals, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Without commitment, you will never start. And without... And more importantly, without consistency, consistency, you will never finish. Let me repeat this. Without commitment, you will never start. And more importantly, without consistently, you will never finish. It is not easy, yes, but you got to tell yourself you are going to do it. So you need to discipline yourself. You need to commit yourself. You need to do all your activity consistently. Most of us, we are not consistent. Yes, you are doing it but not consistently. At a point, you feel like giving up. That point that you feel like giving up, go do it. Don't give up. Don't quit. Don't settle for less. Right? Remember, you have a goal that you are working on. You have a vision that you are working on. So you should do all the activities consistently. And trust me, to gain this, I normally say it is like a habit. Do whatever you want to do in the next 21 days. If you have decided this is what I'm going to focus to do, I'm going to sleep maybe at exactly noon time or at midnight, midnight, 12.00, and by exactly 3 a.m. you are awake, do it. Set even alarms. Do that consistently in the next 21 days. If you fail, start afresh. If you are not yet at 21, day 21, start afresh again. So if, let's say you have gone up to date 15, and date 16 you have overslept. You start afresh again. To gain that habit, it is not easy. I did it on my side and I understand how tough it is 
and you are going to achieve your goals. Trust me, that is how you are going to gain a habit. After 21 days, now do that consistently in the next 90 days. So three months of consistently working on your goals, trust me, you will be much far ahead and successful compared where you are. So that is just, that was it on my side. I believe you have learned something. So let's go work on our visions, work on our goals, set the daily goals, weekly goals, monthly goals, yearly goals, and hit them. Don't just set goals. Hit, set goals and achieve them. Work towards them. So thank you for your time, and I believe you have learned something. Yeah.